Maui Jim make unquestionably some of the very best sunglasses in the world. The question is, are they worth the money? Do they represent good value? And in this video, I'm gonna be answering that question. And to do so, we're going to be climbing all the way up there. So let's go. So first of all, a lot of you have been asking me to film more videos outside and honestly I'd love to. I really like being outdoors myself. Unfortunately the UK weather is not quite always so permissive of that. Uh, but if you do enjoy this video format, please leave a comment below and let me know. But back to the topic at hand. So Maui Jim's sunglasses are quite close to my heart really. Uh, they're one of the first products that I learned about getting into this industry 10 or 15 years ago. And at that time they seemed really groundbreaking and in a way without particularly innovating in that 10 to 15 years, they're still ahead of most of the sunglass brands in the world, which speaks volumes really. So the question is in 2022, do they still represent great value for money? Well, the very short answer to that question is yes, but the long answer is maybe. So stick with me and we're gonna go through all the kind of pros and cons with Maui Gym sunglasses and the value proposition that they represent, both for non-prescription sunglasses, so kind of off the shelf, and also for prescription wearers like myself. So first of all, who are Maui Jim? That's a question that I still get asked a surprising amount, given that they are the third biggest sunglass brand in the world, and up until this last week, the largest independently owned sunglass brand in the world. It really broke my heart to find out that they had been bought out after years and years of speculation by Kering, who are a luxury manufacturer, not just in eyewear. They're a company that houses brands like Gucci, Chloe, Cartier, who we stock. And we have a good relationship with Kering, and they are one of the best, in fact, I would say they are the best luxury eyewear manufacturer in terms of the really big players, because those brands are all under their roof, if that makes sense. So they're not licensing out the manufacturing of the frames to other companies, they're doing everything in-house. That means that the end product is a lot closer to the initial conception that comes from the brands themselves, such as Gucci, such as uh, Cartier. But nevertheless, it does mean that Maui Jim have finally lost their independence. And that's sad to me because my passion is for independent eyewear brands. They are the brands that I most love. And for a lot of people that might put them off Maui Jim. And maybe it will for me. But more so than who are Maui Jim, let's look at what are Maui Jims. If you buy a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses, you always get the following. Polarized lenses, which completely eliminate glare particularly useful for driving, sailing, situations where you get reflected light, which is what we call glare. They will block 99.9% .9 of all glare. They always have color enhancers, which means that when you look through a pair of Maui Jim lenses, and this is the one point that is most special about Maui Jim in my opinion, when you look through a pair of Maui Jim lenses, the colors are really enhanced. Greens are greener, reds are redder. Every color is, is improved upon and that is something that really has to be seen to be believed. It's not something I can demonstrate to you, but most people, when they try on a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses, they do notice that effect. You also get extremely good scratch resistance, an easy to clean layer, usually some kind of mirror coating, which gives added eye protection, absolute top level UV protection in every pair and very high quality frames at the same time. And <laughs> unlike a lot of other sunglass brands that are out there, there isn't, any pair that you can buy that doesn't have any of those qualities. They will always have all of those qualities I've just mentioned for you. And in a world where brands try to diversify and try to create different product offerings for the lower end and for the higher end, a brand that really sticks to the guns and only does top quality, I think is to be commended personally. And that gives us as an optician a lot of confidence in recommending them because you know there's never going to be a bad pair of Maui Jim sunglasses. Now, one of my big criticisms of Maui Jim when I first came into the industry is that they weren't really the style of sunglasses that I personally would choose. I'm gonna show you in a minute some of the other styles that I have with me today. And one of those is a rimless frame, which is kind of cool in its own way, but it's certainly not the style that I would choose. Back in the day, that was all that everybody picked from Maui Jim, those rimless sunglasses, which they loved, don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't say that they catered to the fashion end of the market. They were pure performance, and there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. But it's really cool that in the last probably two or three, four years, Maui Jim have really added some cool styles to their portfolio. 
This one being my favourite called the Puka. It's such an interesting kind of undersized square sunglass that I absolutely love. These are made in Japan and anyone who follows this channel will know how highly I regard Japanese made eyewear. It is the best and especially Japanese titanium frames. They are unmatched. Now back in the day, every pair of Maui Gym sunglasses came with this really cool anti-squint technology, which you can kind of see as the lenses catch the light. Basically there's a band, a clearer band through the center, you can kind of see it at that angle there. And what that does is basically the lens is more mirrored at the top and the bottom. And that kind of squints for your eyes. It's like the lenses have an anti-squint effect. It's a really clever, really innovative technology. I believe Maui Gym were the first to pioneer this. And it works as well. If you have a pair of lenses with the anti-squint technology, you will never find yourself squinting. But over the years they have moved on. Maui Gym were the first company to make prescription gradient polarized lenses. And nowadays they offer some really cool colored mirrors, like the one you see here in the shore break. This has their newest red mirror lens, which is available in prescription. And the fully mirrored lenses give even more eye protection. These give really extreme eye protection, the maximum you can get. I can look out straight towards the sun. I'm actually looking directly at the sun, which you shouldn't do, but I can see it comfortably and I don't feel like my eyes are squinting whatsoever. And sunglasses that give that amount of protection are very rare, trust me. So yeah, we know that Maui Gyms are quality. That was never in doubt. I opened the video by saying they're one of the best quality sunglass brands in the world. The question is, are they worth the money? Well, Maui Gym sunglasses typically range between two to 400 pounds. And that's for the off the shelf sunglasses, not including prescription. And for me, for that money, yes, they are worth every penny, particularly the models at the lower end, one of which I'm gonna show you a little bit later on. This one kind of sits in the middle of that price range. And for what you get, you know, a nice quality acetate frame, I wouldn't say super high quality. This is one of the Italian made frames. These are decent frames. With the level of lenses that you're getting, they are definitely worth the money. There is, to me, no question about that. As I mentioned before, there are no bad Maui gyms. You can't really go wrong, but the showcase pieces are the ones that you should look out for, like the Shore Break, like the Puka, and like the others that I'm gonna show you in a moment. So, the frame side of things is where Maui gym sunglasses sometimes leave a little bit to be desired. One or two pieces are amazing. Most are very good, but on the whole, they can sometimes let the brand down a little bit. And that's one aspect actually, that's one area where I think the partnership with Kering or the acquisition by Kering, it's definitely not a partnership, uh, could actually benefit the brand because Kering really do know what they're doing when it comes to style. And if they can update Maui Gym technology, combining that with slightly more fashionable styles on the whole, I think that could make them literally the best sunglasses in the world. So I guess a good way to determine the value of something is to compare it against its competition. And when you compare Maui Gym against, well, <laughs> its literal competition, the two brands that are bigger than it, which is Ray-Ban and Oakley, in my opinion, it's <laughs> a no contest. Whilst they might cost sometimes twice as much, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less, you're getting way more than twice the quality, in my experience. Maui Gym, sunglasses break so much less frequently, particularly than Ray-Ban. Um, but even than Oakley, you know, I see Oakley frames break more than Maui Gym on the whole. Uh, but it's not just about that, it's not just about that in terms of the quality. It's also the level of UV protection. It's significantly better on Maui Gyms. Um, and the level of clarity that you get looking through a Maui Gym lens, the level of detail that you can see, the color enhancements that you get, that also goes way beyond anything that Ray-Ban or Oakley have done. And to be fair, Oakley are more innovative than Ray-Ban, but even then, Maui Gym are leagues apart. And when you compare them against most fashion brands, you know, your Prada, your Gucci even, your Chanel, any fashion brand, literally any fashion brand, Maui Gym are just way, way, way better value for money because often they'll cost less than those brands but you're getting usually a better quality frame or at least similar quality to those kind of brands, but way, way better lenses. The majority of fashion sunglasses in my experience come with relatively basic sun lenses. And at the end of the day, the main purpose of your sunglasses is to protect your eyes. So that really should be your priority. I get that everyone wants to look good as well. And that's the point that I made, you know, Maui Gym, some of the styles do leave a little bit to be desired, but there are those key pieces that are really, really cool. Like the short break that I'm wearing right now. And if you get one of those frames, you're just getting a better pair of sunglasses in every aspect. Build quality, style in my opinion, and lens quality. We're almost at the top now. And for the last part of our journey, let's look at the best value Maui Gym sunglasses. Probably the best value sunglasses in the world. 
This one is called the Hikina, and <laughs> this is, believe it or not, the least expensive Mo Gym sunglasses you can buy. And for £200, you are getting everything I've talked about so far, plus a virtually indestructible frame. These are also made in Japan, believe it or not, for that price, it's crazy. Maui Brilliant lenses, which are incredibly durable, but also produce a beautiful view of the world. What more could you want from a pair of sunglasses if functionality is all you care about? Because personally, I don't think these are the most stylish sunglasses in the world. It's not one that I would wear. But functionally, they are just amazing. They're the most comfortable sunglasses ever, like because you don't even feel that you're wearing them. And not just because of that, but also because the lenses make your eyes so comfortable, even in very bright conditions like I'm in today. The lower end Maui gyms are the best value sunglasses in the world. And I really stand by that. And for those who don't believe me, here's a very quick demonstration of just how strong they are. I could literally tie this in knots. This material is called Grillamide, and it's a material that Maui Gym pioneered. They actually make some full frame models from this material as well, which are only a tiny bit more expensive, so well worth it. Any Grillamide frames by Maui Gym are the ones to choose if you're looking for the best value. Now, there's one aspect where you could argue Maui Gym sunglasses don't represent good value for money, and that's when you start adding prescription lenses, because Prescription Maui gyms are very expensive. You're looking at probably triple the cost of the off-the-shelf ones, if not more sometimes. And a perfect example of that is the bow line here. Now again, this model retails about 300 pounds off the shelf. And for that, they're an amazing pair of sunglasses. I absolutely love the style of the bow line. I love everything about it. Again, this is one of the made in Japan titanium models. But when you start adding prescriptions to this model, you're looking at anywhere between six to nine hundred generally depending on whether you have single vision lenses what type of coating you have you know what type of mirror finish you have i mean and whether you have very focals and for that money i could give you a top end frame like a barton prairie for example which is about as good as it gets with a set of zeiss lenses and that's the option i would pick because Whilst Maui Gym haven't particularly innovated in the last few years, Zeiss really have with their sun lenses. And I'm a huge fan of the Zeiss adaptive sun lenses, which adjust to the lighting conditions. To me, that's the one limitation of Maui Gyms, is the fact that they are great pure sunglasses, but not the most versatile. And that's because they are always a fixed tint lens. In my opinion, the future is variable tint sun lenses, like Zeiss adaptive sun, where when it's not so sunny, you've got a usable pair of sunglasses. When it is really sunny, you've got a fantastic pair of sunglasses. They really cover for every eventuality. And that's what I would pick at that high-end price range if you're looking for prescription sunglasses. But if you just want a great quality pair of pure sunglasses made to your prescription with no compromise, that's what you'll get with a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. And for some, that's all they want, and that represents good value to them. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We're coming to the end of our journey. I'm almost out of breath. It's quite, it's quite a big hill that we've just covered together. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So here we are. What a beautiful view. You can see for miles and miles. And seeing is one of the gifts of life. By having a good pair of sunglasses, particularly a good pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, you're not only seeing things the best that you can in these kind of conditions, but you're also protecting the health of your eyes so that you can see clearly for years to come. And that's kind of the point that I want to end on because I think that sums up what investing in a good pair of sunglasses is all about. And that's why it's an important purchase. It should be a considered purchase and you should get good value for money from your sunglasses, but that doesn't mean just going for the cheapest ones. That means going for ones that give you the maximum eye protection and help you see the world the best you can. So thanks for joining me today. 